Hi everyone. Welcome to Frappe School. This is the 6th chapter in our healthcare management course. Here we will be discussing rehabilitation and physiotherapy using ERP next. By the end of this chapter, you will know what is rehabilitation, how can we plan therapy in ERP next, and how can we manage exercises in ERP next. Now that our patient Blake has been discharged, in order to regain energy and make himself strong both mentally and physically, there are a set of activities that will be prescribed to him. That is where the rehabilitation and physiotherapy operations will commence. We shall go ahead and see how we can streamline these activities in ERP next by setting up various operations. Firstly, let's create some exercise types so that we can classify the exercise based on its difficulty level, body parts for which it is prescribed and the steps involved in the same. To create an exercise type, navigate to the exercise type from the awesome bar. Click on new and enter a unique exercise name. Next. Select a difficulty level and add a description. We can also select the body parts for which the exercise will be prescribed. We can attach a document for exercise instructions or also create a video document and link it in the exercise type. Let's add instructions with images and descriptions using the Add button under the Exercise Step section. This is helpful to provide detailed demonstrations of the exercises. Click on the edit button on each card to edit the content. Save the document once all the details have been added. As a practitioner or therapist, we may prescribe a number of different therapies for a patient. Every therapy might have a set of exercises. ERP Next helps us templatize the therapies using the therapy type. With this, we can create and link therapies to healthcare service units, add standard rates and item details for billing. We can also add exercises according to body parts. To create a therapy type, Navigate via the awesome bar. Click on add and enter a therapy name. Add item details such as item code, item name, item group and also a description if applicable. The is billable checkbox can be checked if this therapy type needs to be billed. If checked, enter the rate for one therapy session. You can optionally add the default duration for one therapy session which will be used while booking an appointment for it. We can add the healthcare service unit and the medical department here. We can easily add these body parts in the therapy for field and click on Add exercises to add the exercise types for those body parts. We can also disable some therapy types if we are not conducting sessions for them. Once all the details are added, click on Save. A therapy plan lists all the therapies required for the patient along with the number of sessions. 
It also keeps a track of the progress as per the number of sessions completed. Let's create a therapy plan by clicking on Add Therapy Plan. Select the naming series applicable and then select the patient. Select the start date for the plan. In order to add therapies to the plan, click on Add Row button in the child table. Select the therapy type and set the number of sessions required to complete it. Once all the details are added, click on Save. Once saved, we can create a therapy session from the therapy plan. It will give you options based on the therapy types prescribed in the current plan. Therapy plan templates are used by some healthcare facilities for prescribing therapy plans as packages. In such cases, the number of sessions to be conducted and the total cost is fixed. The therapy plan created using the template will not be billed for individual sessions but for a package as a whole. To create it, let's navigate to therapy plan template from the awesome bar. Click on Add Therapy Template and enter a name. An item will be created for the therapy plan template as a whole for billing purposes. The Linked Item Details section is for specifying details about the linked item such as item code, name, group and description. On updating the item related fields, the linked item will also be updated automatically. In the therapy type section, select the type which are covered under the template. Their rate is fetched from the therapy type document. Enter the number of sessions to be conducted for each therapy type. The amount is calculated as a product of number of sessions and rate. Item price is created and updated for the linked item accordingly. The total sessions and total amount is calculated and set in the fields respectively. Click on Save once completed. Therapy session helps the patient have a face-to-face -face interaction with the therapist, performed individually or in a group setting. It also helps us map the patient's progress by keeping track of the activities required for the patient to complete each exercise. To create a therapy session, navigate from the awesome bar. Go to the therapy session list and click on Add Therapy Session. Select the naming series. If a patient appointment has been booked for the session, select the appointment. All the other details will be automatically fetched. If no appointment has been booked, select the patient. Select the therapy type and the therapy plan for that patient. Once you select the therapy type, all the details from the template will be automatically fetched. Select the therapist in the Healthcare Practitioner field. We can select a start date and time and save it. We can then increase the number of counts completed and once a particular exercise has been completed, Select the level of assistance required for that exercise. The count indicators are shown on the dashboard of the document. Green indicates completion. Orange indicates unreached goals. Let's submit the document once finished. When a patient is in rehab, there will be a lot of sessions or evaluations taken to track their progress. 
These evaluations have certain parameters based on which the patient's progress will be evaluated. Different forms have different scales to rate progress. You can create all such patient assessment forms seamlessly in ERP Next by creating patient assessment templates. Let's create one. Enter an assessment name. Let's add the assessment parameters we want to examine in the parameters table. For example, in the motor assessment scale, the patient's movements are evaluated by certain performance parameters like walking, advanced hand activities, hand movements, and balancing or sitting to name a few. For most patient assessments, the patient's movements or performances are evaluated based on some numeric scale. In the assessment scale section, you can set the scale minimum and scale maximum on basis of which the patient will be evaluated. We can also add some assessment descriptions and instructions about the scoring rules. Once all the details are added, Click on Save. Now that we have created a template, let's add this assessment for our patient. For that, we need to navigate to Patient Assessment from the awesome bar. Click on Add New Patient Assessment. We have an option to select a therapy session. Select the Patient Assessment template And then, we can start the assessment by selecting the score against every parameter. Once all the details are added, click on Save. The total score obtained will be calculated as a sum of all the individual parameter scores obtained. We can also add time and comments while evaluating individual parameters in the assessment table. Lastly, we can submit this form. 